In today's video, we're looking at some of the most recent projects made with Blender. These include music videos, modeling, sculpting and animation projects, as well as some short films. We're gonna start with this amazing animation made by young artist called Robert Couch. Although he is only a 17-year-old self-taught 3D artist, he made a truly unique render. He called this render Breaking Boundaries, and the purpose of making this animation was to participate in the Moving Meditations challenge that was run by YouTuber and VFX artist Punisher, in which Robert made it to the top 100 with this animation. His idea has a meaningful story where he wanted to create a person breaking out of his present which was inside of his mind. The process of creating this artwork involved a number of steps, beginning with doing a blackout and some basic lighting tests followed by the detailing stage by adding some assets and textures and finishing things up with great composition which was accomplished using a program called Nuke. Now let's take a look at this cool render that was made by Paul Hobbs. He is a CG lighting artist and 3D generalist. He learned Blender 5 years ago and now he is making his way into VFX and animation industries. He called this project Fishy POV. The story behind this project began by getting some inspiration from another render called Fishy Cat by Manu Harvinen. He wanted to create a cute and funny character and transform it into a dark and terrifying scene. His artwork was very detailed where he wanted to be sure that everything is set right before starting to work. He first gathered some references by hand drawing some sketches and then made the final concept art by painting in software called Krita. His plan was to make everything in black and make the cat look really menacing by turning it into flames. In the modeling process, it was all about sculpting the cat and then doing retopology and texturing it. He wanted to have everything be simple but with pronounced shapes to highlight the fear that the fish was feeling. He finally finished his project by making the fish and then making the environment by scattering some painted grass using geometry nodes. Now, let's take a look at this nice render created by Jose Miguel Cordaliza. He wanted to develop a steampunk concept, and with the aid of three other pieces of art that served as inspiration, he produced this artwork, which he named Steampunk Station. The first step that he went through is doing some initial blackouts, and he did that for the entire scene in Dunder. And with the consideration of some aspects, he placed several basic shapes and some reference models. Then after the blocking stage, he began modeling each object. Almost all the models were low poly, and he did use some third-party assets. Then he moved on to texturing and lighting, adding an HDRI and a sunlight. After that, he rendered the project using cycles and jumped to post-processing in Photoshop. Next up, we have another concept art that was made by Omas, and he's a concept artist who's been doing concept art for more than three years, and now he made this amazing render called Water World. To accomplish this project, he first began to gather references and started looking for some inspiration that will lead him to start the project, and then he made some sketches. After that, he jumped to the modeling process, but he didn't model all the objects, instead, he used third-party assets, in addition to some sculpting on these models. This in addition to adding and removing some details, which allowed him to finish the modeling process. Then he blocked out the scene and assembled everything together. Lastly, he adjusted the light and added some smoke and fog and finished with rendering a few frames and did a paint over to them to enhance the light contrast. After that, he removed all the unnecessary details and added water, rain and other effects. Another project we will be taking a look at is this cool animation called Fight for Light. And like the first project we talked about, this is also a submission to a moving meditation challenge. The artist behind this project has an experience of 20 years inside Blender, and although he also knows 3ds Max, he chose Blender to do this project. He got his inspiration from an image of a wooden character with a light bulb hat. So he wanted to make a similar character with a samurai look, and he wanted the scene to look like a workshop. Before modeling, he did some sketches so that he won't lose too much time trying to figure out the scale of different things and how parts are connected to each other. He modeled almost everything except a few things that were mostly out of focus. For texturing, he used tile textures instead of texture painting. He finished the project by tweaking the lighting and doing some post-processing and compositing in Blender. 
The following film was created using Blender and Unreal Engine as part of a project for the geostructural analysis of subsurface historical resources in southern Italy. The artists behind this used numerous scans using a laser scanner to produce a realistic looking render. The laser scan results were utilized as a starting point to build the model of the underground environment. They created a photo scan using a drone to rebuild the exterior. He then cleaned it up, added some style, and then used cycles to render it. And then following the laser survey of the interior data by the geologist, he created a mesh that he textured entirely in Blender. He then exported the UV map model to Unreal Engine and used Megascans models for the rocks, some props, and the stairways that had been reshaped and placed. He also changed the hue so that it matched the original model. Do you remember how old anime used to look like? Well, this awesome animation will definitely refresh your memories. It is inspired by the old anime Ranma, and it was made by the animator Ogino Yoshiro. Yoshiro really surprised us and took Twitter by storm when he published the animation. He did pretty much everything inside Blender, from modeling and rigging to animation and rendering, and it took him around 4 months just to finish the rigging process, and the animation was done in just one day, which is impressive. And the most impressive thing is that he didn't use the grease pencil tool to animate the character. Instead, he used line art to generate the outlines and he used the grease pencil just for the 2D smears. Talking about old methods of animation, we have this cool music video that was made with Blender in just two weeks. It shows a reunion of two lovers who died before their wedding. Coming back to life for a single night, with the help of their deceased relatives, they meet again to be together for eternity. The animation is cool and looks like a stop motion. Also, it looks like puppets moving around and being controlled by someone. And that's what's impressive about it, in addition to the lighting and compositing, which kind of gives it a Toy Story movie vibe. Next, we have this VFX short film by Lutz. It shows how he battled and killed dinosaurs with a samurai sword. The animation he produced is great. The dinosaurs were effectively blended into the scene, which make them look a little bit more realistic. However, the collision between the sword and the dinosaurs could have been done better. Nonetheless, it is still a cool nice project. I hope you found this project interesting and inspiring. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.